What's going on everyone? It's Abdali here, bringing you guys another part of Splatfest, yes! Now, in Splatoon, every now and then, uh, Nintendo will host an awesome event called Splatfest, where we go through, choose a team, in this case, it's going to be cats versus dogs, and you go through and you represent that team. It is really cool. Uh, if you guys missed the previous episode, where we just got our feet a little wet with it, um, go check that out. But this is part two of Splatfest. We're representing Team Cats, and uh, if we do win our rounds, we get to wear the King of Ink hat like usual. So if you guys are excited for Splatfest, definitely smash that like button and join up with me, because this is awesome. All right, so here we go. We're going to join another Splatfest battle. In the previous episode, we did three rounds. Uh, we lost one, and we won two rounds. Uh, so on this one, I'm hoping that we can do maybe um, three to four matches, depending. Um, and as you guys can see, we have three stages, Urchin Underpass, Walleye Warehouse, and Kelp Dome. Uh, Kelp Dome is a newer stage that just got released. I haven't had experience playing with it, um, but from what I can deduce, it is a pretty fun level. There's a, you know, a, a second tier that you've got to keep into consideration. Uh, but anyway, um, before I was a cat fiend, and now I'm a cat fanboy. So here we go, Kelp Dome. Yeah, there's definitely different tiers and layers on this level, and a couple, uh, I would say... Uh, what is that? Exclusive spots? Okay, so we got two rollers. That's pretty sweet. Alright, so I'm gonna head straight over this way, because I feel that this way is pretty good. Um, I can go up top if I wanted to, but I'm only gonna go up top if I actually have, like, a full amount of uh, ink in my tank. Because you don't want to go up top if you don't have, you know, full ink. Okay, I see a guy over here. There's a dude. Got him. Got him. Wow, he did ink me a little bit. But luckily for me, I had my little shield, my bubble ready to go. Now, having the ink saver as your main is really awesome. I'm like literally holding down this button and I don't even have to. Whoa, okay, I'm out of here. I didn't notice I was by their base. Oh my. Well, these guys are after me. Okay, no worries. I got my special ready, so I could just literally... That's fine. That's, that's fine. You could, bump, you could bump me around with all your specials. Oh, it's up for this. Oh, uh, no. I was, I was cornered. I couldn't do anything. Oh, man. I was in enemy territory. We're not doing so hot, but there is a squid beacon over here. I'm going to go use it to rep over here with my friends, my fellow Team Cat members. So we need to actually get on the other side, because just by looking at this map, we're not doing so hot. Okay, that was easy. I didn't know you can climb this thing. Okay, well that's good. Now I know, that's pretty sweet. There we go, landed right on him. Wow, weapons with good range do very well in this level. Okay, Mitchell's coming our way. We just need to roll everything. There we go. Whoa, mine, nice! Okay, well, I was able to avoid that mine, luckily. But my teammates, not so much. Where is everyone? Well, we got 10 seconds. That was helpful. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Just looking at this bottom screen, it looks evenly matched. Okay, we lost it. Boo! Okay, well, for starters, I can easily see that uh, we had, like, in our half, we didn't necessarily have, you know, everything covered up. Our base, for example, wasn't covered up 100%. Um... Okay, so I got to keep in mind when playing this, I've got to actually make my way over to their base and start hitting those exclusive spots 
Um, there is a middle portion, which I kind of got the hang of. Um, and you can climb up the top to the middle portion. Um, but yeah, this is... Uh, I've That's literally like my second or third time playing that level. So uh, that, that's very interesting. All right, well, I need some people to start stepping up. We need to start doing that. So if you're a roller, make sure you roll our base really quick while I go out everywhere else. And that's one of the things that I wish that we could just communicate. Um, I wish that I can talk um, and say, hey, heads up, roll. If you're the roller, roll the base really quick, okay? Please, because you can do it quicker than anyone else can. Um, yeah, that's really tough. That is really tough. But give me, give me Walleye Warehouse. I'll play that level for days. Give me Urchin Underpass. I grew up with these levels. <laughs> Look at me sounding like an old man over here. Oh, back in my day... There wasn't anything called Kelp Dome. All right, only a test. Dog Fiend, Fiend Defenders. All right, well, let's do this. Walleye Warehouse in the dark. Nice. Okay, I love this level. All right, this level is going to be really good. I can't wait. Uh, let's do this. Okay, wow, they got a, 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 a brush. What is that, an ink brush? Okay, this is going to be awesome. Oh, there's the ink brush right off the bat. I like going this way too. Good job. All right, and then I usually get my special around this time, and I'll empty out my tank, and then I'll bust out the special if I need to. All right, no one's over here. That's interesting. Usually the other team's on top of this area. But uh, I like going this way as well. Um, and then putting a little bit of my ink in their uh, exclusive spots. Okay, here's a guy. He's coming right behind me. Oh my! Wow! Wow, that was lucky on me, huh? Oh, I'm going to sneak up on this dude. Where did he go? Hiding in the walls? Now, hiding in the walls is a very good strategy in case you guys have ever seen it. Um, whenever you see someone nearby, um, you can easily, like, just spray the wall and just hide in it. They won't even know you're there, literally, because, like, pros are like wall hiders. All right, here's a little bit of exclusive territory. Be sure to spray that. Got him. Easy. All right, some exclusive territory up there. Spray it a little bit. Okay, we're good. Okay, this is always risky right over here. What was that? Oh, is that a Kraken? No, it's not a Kraken. That's some dude. Okay, I got to get up there somehow. All right, there we go. What is this guy? Why is he standing still? Oh, man, probably a uh, lag. Okay, how does our base look like? Okay, I'm gonna take care of- Yeah, dude, I don't even know if they disconnected or something, but this is too easy of a win. Okay, I got their entire exclusive area. Wow, I'm really not getting the points either. What's going on? Is it like two against one? <laughs> I really don't know what's going on over here. Or how many people are on the other person's team. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> that was like almost 100%. Yikes. 88% with five. Yeah, you know what? That wasn't... That was a lopsided battle. I don't... I think that they disconnected. I felt bad for that one. I don't know. Um, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Okay, here we go. We gotta get more Splatfest points. That's what we're aiming for. Wow, I wonder what happens once you get like to 25. All right, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna Splatfest this place up. We're gonna reach the top rank in Splatfest within this video series. Of course, we're not gonna do it in one video. We're gonna do it over a couple videos. So yeah, hey, we won that one. Although it was a long shot. Wow, here we go. Cat champ, baby. 
Oh, Cat Fiend. How am I Cat Fiend? I thought it was a Cat Fanboy. Does that change, like, every time? Man. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Okay, oh, what is this? Three people? Did someone just disconnect? That's not fun. Alright, Urchin Underpass. Is this really three versus four? I hope it's not. I like a fair match. Okay. Uh-huh, shark. Oh, that's not fun. Well, he's got the, um... Uh, that looks like the .96 gallon or the .52 gallon. I love that weapon so much. But if there was only a gallon weapon with, um... With a bubbler, that would be excellent. Alright, here we go. Splatastic, baby. We're gonna splat all these guys. All right, I gotta get my special really quick. Whoa, hold the phone. Dang, that's pretty good. What's going on over here? I just felt like I had to use that. That was not fun. Okay, well, it looks like I can go to their base and just... Whoa, run train. Whoa! Surprise attack! Dang, Danny Zam! <laughs> oh, that was good. Wow, bad on my part. Alright, protect me while I jump over to you, please, shark. Don't let me get splat... jump splatted. You know, it's not even worth it. I'm just gonna go the, the sneaky route. What if we lost? What if we lost? If it was like four versus three and we lost, that would be bad. Okay, here we go. Looks like nobody's home. Just going for their exclusive spots. Wow, are they doing the same thing for us? It's like, I'll color their base, and like while I'm coloring their base, they're gonna go color mine. Yeah, no one's here. Okay, while well, I'm literally coloring their base. I don't know what my team's doing. But I really hope they're doing something. Maybe like distracting them? Okay, that was cool. Nice ink strike. <laughs> I guess they probably did that from afar, knowing that uh, like I'm inside their base. Alright, so hopefully everyone will be here. Alright, that really wasn't worth my bubbler. I could have handled him on my own without that. Wow, there's a lot of green over here. I really hope my team was doing some work. Wow, you know what? I think we lost. What happened? <laughs> I think we lost. We did lose. It was four versus three. What happened? I did a thousand on my team. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay. That's not bad. I don't mind. Uh, Alright, come on. Keep on moving. I said, what if we lost to... I said that. I called it. Wow. Come on, let's go. Team Cat. Let's go. Step it up. Anyway, I don't know what we could have done differently. I was pretty much inking everything. But, like, the base. I was over there trying to ink their base, and as soon as they respawned... I don't know. Maybe I should have just focused on, um, you know, some of our um, exclusive spots. But, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But, anyway. Um, so... Hopefully you guys are enjoying the episode. By all means, if you guys haven't already checked out my YouTube channel, I've got loads of other Splatoon content on there, uh, such as the 100% walkthrough uh, that I did uh, as soon as the game came out. It was awesome. Um, and, of course, I'm doing Turf War tutorials 
uh, where I go through a new weapon um, every single episode. So that's cool. So go check that out, especially while we're waiting on uh, these fiends. What am I? I'm, I'm, a, I'm still a cat fiend. How am I a cat fiend? Come on, team dog. Let's go. Oh, that's lame. Okay, we're in. Let's do this. Okay, walleye warehouse. Team cats. Got my splatter shot. We're good to go. Okay, we got a roller on our team, which is great. Um, and we got they got two rollers. Uh oh, that's not good. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm going to usually get my special right around this time. At least, I think. Somewhat. All right, well, he narrowly dodged a bullet there. All right, touche. That's fine. Oh, wow. Okay, so as soon as he came to... Uh, as soon as he came to, I just got owned. I should have, like, teleported the heck out of there. Okay, well, now, since I did get killed, I'll actually take the bullet, and I'll start inking some of the areas where we didn't get to. That's usually what it should be. Oh, man. What is going on over here? All right. What is going on over there? Oh, come on. He quickly turned around and got me. Well, at least I lowered his health a little bit so my buddies can get him. All right, we're not doing so hot. Um, I'm going to... Oh, God, that was a trap. Okay, that wasn't a trap. They didn't see that, which is good. All right, I'll protect them over here. Oh, dude, I pressed bubble. Oh, my God, that's bad. I'm getting really wrecked here. This is not good. All right, well, you know what? I'm not going to go teleport over there because we got some of our area that I got to get back. Okay, that was pretty easy. He just walked right into me. Usually, if you're a roller, you'd be, like, jump splatting. What? Phew. What's the special on the Splash-O-Matic? Is that Kraken? We gotta jump into their zone. Okay, that didn't work out. Splash-O-Matic, I'm getting wrecked by this weapon, and I didn't have really good reviews on it when I played it for the first time, so maybe it is really good. Okay. Yeah, that didn't help out at all. Splattershot Jr., oh man. Yeah, we got owned that time around. Ugh. Come on, Team Cats, we need this. I wasn't really doing any work either. They caught me on my off game. Wah, wah. But still, somehow I, w I did more than my team. Well, we get two points. That's still something, right? All right, come on, guys. We need this. One more. One more round. Did we lose two and win one? Because I only remember wearing that King of Ink hat once. So let's try again. Okay. Well, it looks like we're ready. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves, shall we? Give me Kelp Dome. I really want to keep on playing this level because... The different strategies involved are pretty... What? Oh, come on. Three versus four. Crud. And someone's got the end zap, too. All right, well, I'll stick around and help spray our base a little bit. Because I don't think our roller is going to take care of it. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, well, that's our base. 
All our base are belong to us now, which is good. Just gonna branch out over here. Okay, looks like I got some company. Wow, I'm playing very conservative here. Usually I like being in the fray and fighting everyone. Just like that. That was pretty cool. Now I got my full link back. I could actually go up here. This is awesome. I like being up here because you can spray the bottom. You can spray anywhere. Okay, so we can own the middle. All right, here we go. Here's this dude. I'm gonna see if I can surprise him. Oh God, oh, come on. Did he see me climb that? Oh, it was because of that ink strike, man. Dude, we're not doing so hot. Okay, well, see if you can ink strike the other person's base. That's perfect. Okay, I felt like I did a pretty good job covering up our base, um, but that's not really what it's all about. It's all about covering up the other little areas too. I'm gonna take the whole team on, let's go. I took the whole team on and splatted them all. Oh, all four of them, man, are you kidding me? That's a quad splat right there, baby. Tell me that was not awesome. I took on their whole team. And one. Okay, that's pretty great. Who's this? With the ink strike. <laughs> There's the ink strike, okay. I don't even know where we're at. Oh, look who we, we've got company. Okay, well, wasted the bubbler because I got afraid of that dude for a little bit. All right, I don't know. For three versus four, I felt that that was a pretty good match. Um, there was a whole area of our side that wasn't even covered, but we won. <laughs> oh, man. That was cool. Okay, we're going to call it. We're going to call it. That's going to be the end of the episode because that ends off on an awesome note. Three versus four. We ended up winning. Oh, that was too cool. And then I got that all four. I killed their entire team by myself. Pfft. You can't get better than that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely smash that like button. Um, look forward to the next Splatfest. And uh, if you guys have more time, there's loads of other Splatoon content on my channel. So go watch all of it. It's awesome. Um, yes. We're going to continue with another episode of Splatfest, so stay tuned for it. It'll come up before you know it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you on the next one.